Hey guys, how you going? So today I just wanted to do something a little bit different again and trying to innovate and uh, do other things as well, I guess. So we're going to rebuild this drone. So this drone is a senior wood. It's a Yishin uh, Cavatar. So uh, I purchased this as my first drone. Bring up the camera a little bit better. So basically what, what this does is it's got ducts and these ducts basically act as a safety barrier, I guess. And also the flying characteristics of this drone is probably a little bit different. The reason why I do want to change it though is um, I do have another drone, which is uh, this one here. It's called a home FPV wingsuit. So this wingsuit is, well, it's obviously a little bit smaller than um, than my senior wood. But what it is, I think it's, it's great for flying indoors and outdoors and it's quite stable and I uh, recently purchased a GoPro, Naked GoPro, which is a cut down GoPro to about 26 grams. Yeah, so I'm going to be using that as that. And so with this one here, what we're going to do today is um, we're going to change him over to this frame. So it's still a three inch frame, um, but it's more of a freestyle drone. So I can, um, I guess, get a little bit better flying and much quicker, quicker turns and other things. So the ducts kind of do stop you from doing that. So um, yeah, um, I'll uh, let's get started, I guess. And I'm not a professional or anything like that. I've just been flying drones for like six months. So uh, I'm still kind of learning about these things. The best way of learning is doing it yourself, I guess, yeah? So yeah, um, I guess I wanted to sort of show you a few things um, before we start off. So give you an idea of where it is. When I started off, I had no idea what's what. So um, this is a digital FPV drone. So digital means that it has a DJI A unit. So that's the a DJI A unit. I'm bringing it closer to the camera. Um, this is the DJI A unit and basically what this does is HD recording, so 1080p recording. Where in goggles, so these are the goggles, um, the goggles basically what they, they do is still record um, but they record in 720p. Give you a little bit less resolution yet still quite good as well. DJI A unit, it uses all of these controller, goggles and, um, and that's the camera as well. So. Um, now inside of it, you've got your uh, ESC, so your electronic speed controllers, and also a flight controller that connects to um, beta flight and uh, making sure all your rates and everything else is correct. So what the plan is, basically ripping everything out as is and just pop it into this little frame. Not soldering anything, just literally taking everything off and putting into this frame here. I've purchased this uh, frame on, uh, on Amazon. Uh, for about 45, 50 Australian dollars. It does come with all the bits and pieces as well. So it comes with all the 3D mounted prints and, and it does come with all the screws and everything else as well. So, and the reason why I did fit this frame is because the air unit fits nicely air in here. So air unit, this one here fits quite nicely at the back and the whole flight controller fits nicely in here. And everything basically that's in this drone, it can be coming into this drone and becomes a bit more of a freestyle drone. So yeah, let's get it started and hopefully, um, yeah, we'll have any problems, but um, you can see the difference between this drone and that drone. So, all right. All right, let's check out the instructions first, to, just to make sure uh, we've got all the bits and pieces that are supplied in the box. Always good to obviously look at the instructions and making sure that we are on the right track. So first thing, we will remove all the props and uh, make sure that uh, everything is, uh, uh, all the screws are basically removed and just that will re reveal all the guts uh, these are the antennas uh, from the DJI unit um, and uh, so we, here we see the and DJI A unit DJI A unit is connected to the flight controller and to the camera itself uh, that will send all the signals uh, out and, um, and receive all the signals from the controller and uh, that's how the whole drone looks like when it's all taken apart uh, from all the ducts. Uh, and uh, that's the whole unit. That's the A unit, uh, DJI A unit. So um, looking at closer, uh, what we can see is we can see a flight controller and the ESCs. Uh, everything is in a stack. What I have done is left the 
uh, free sky uh, receiver in, in the stack which I will remove later on uh, just because it's obviously um, we're using digital uh, FPV gear so here we are removing the rest of the screws just exposing everything else removing uh, the flight controller ESCs and the motors uh, out of the um, the body um, we had a couple of issues removing the screws because they were so tight and uh, we stripped them uh, while well, I stripped them yeah that's the whole stack so the bottom one is the ESCs the middle one is the flight controller and the top one is obviously the free sky uh, analog receiver which we don't use so uh, we'll have removed that uh, later on while before the flight so this is the new frame now we're popping everything in and um, everything seems to be fitting quite well um, it is a bit of a fiddly job just because we have a lot of components uh, at once and uh, also the um, the dampness uh, on the bottom as well and in the in the middle of the each stack as well so um, what I have tried to do is uh, secure the motor so they don't flop around too much and also um, making sure that everything fits in quite nicely uh, it's a bit of a fiddly work so um, get some tweezers and um, yeah make sure that you kind of get everything organized uh, in the middle of the process I've sort of found out that the um, cables the from the ESCs that control the motors um, basically a bit too short so um, unfortunately I had to do some uh, extension leads for them so here we can see the, um, the Air DJI unit uh, it's fitting in quite nicely making sure that it's nice and snug in there it doesn't flop around and obviously making sure that everything is nice and tight just when we're doing uh, flying there is a fair bit of vibration from the motors too up close uh, what we got here is uh, just the idea where the antennas go uh, at the back uh, they slide in really nicely and um, making sure that they stick out a little bit just for a very clear uh, reception and uh, the goggles don't give you a full HD feed video feed okay so these are the antennas now where we'll basically uh, got to pop them out of the old uh, 3d printed uh, mountings and pop them into the new one um, it's a good idea to zip tie a lot of um, everything here and uh, just because if, if when we're flying we don't want it to pop out and get jammed in motor and obviously crash the quad so um, nice and tight and um, later on you'll see I have put some zip ties on it as well to make sure that it's, uh, it doesn't go on you. Okay so these are the camera mountings, uh, they're all 3D printed soft plastic. Now they do um, slide across and uh, the, the camera does have a little bit of a dampening from uh, flying so um, it doesn't so you're not going to get too much jello um, and um, won't be able to obviously get here also we uh, have a little TPU for the camera I um, when you do crash the camera is obviously the first point of impact and uh, it does the lens does get damaged a fair bit so the TPU does give a bit of protection there as well so as you see the cabling at the back uh, arms uh, is kind of not long enough so um, I have ordered a the front one seems to be okay but the back one's not um, so I have ordered a four piece diatone mamba uh, LED light board for um, remote uh, drone racing and now this LED light strips just basically need to be soldered onto the uh, cabling and they fit quite nice and snug in there to solder them on uh, use the third hand it just gives you a little bit more stability and making sure that uh, nothing runs away from you and um, applying the solder initially to the pads to make sure that there is a firm contact and when we do pop the wires in there as well it is a fiddly job so it's a good idea to get a really fine tip for the soldering iron and make sure that the solder is evenly uh, popped onto it and um, what I did here was uh, connect the first cable in and just do it one by one without 
sort of managing if you do cross the cables to different component the motor will spin a different direction so uh, it we're trying to avoid that obviously um, because if the motor is spinning in the wrong direction you won't be able to take off and the quad will crash so um, it's a good idea to do it one by one making sure that each individual wire goes where it should and it's not a obviously crossed so yep very fine soldering there and uh, just be mindful obviously when you do it uh, the soldering iron is very hot don't burn yourself and um, and you can do the rest as well nice and slowly okay so just finishing that off we've got some nice and clear shrink wrap the shrink wrap will help you uh, protect the cabling and the LED lights from when you do crash um, as we all know uh, we do crash a fair bit and um, they do sit and protect everything there nicely from the propellers uh, that are spinning very fast okay so once everything connected and secured uh, we can test the motors uh, we can test the motors now through a bit of flight as well however in this case um, I think I'm just getting too excited and um, connected the controller and making sure that everything is uh, spinning the correct way and making sure that everything there's no smoke coming out so when testing a quad on the on the bench uh, like that um, the motors um, don't have any propellers on and they will try to take off now there's no resistance so they will try to harder and harder so don't freak out and make sure that um, you don't push the throttle too hard but there we go this is the finished quad and um, it seems to be working quite well and just uh, get um, those um, LED secured with the zip ties and make sure that uh, everything else is ready to go now you can probably see there is one screw missing on each motor I have run out of screws and um, they're on order so um, we can properly um, secure the motors. Uh, three motors, should, three screws should still be plenty to be able to uh, test flight uh, as well. And last step is attaching the um, the propellers. So once we are attached to the propellers, uh, we'll tighten them nicely, and uh, we're ready to go. Okay, so I'm test flying in a local park. So as you can see the quad is actually acting a little bit weird uh, it's shaking for no reason uh, when just flying straight and um, I wasn't happy with that I was actually um, quite disappointed however um, doing some more digging and finding out what I did was I got the PID so I've logged on to my beta flight plugged the quad in and I've plugged my H3 Titan so it's an iFlight D h3 titan and i got the pids uh, tuning uh, out of that and what i did was i copied the pid tune to the new quad that was um, ready to go so um, the next text flight we um, i was actually quite impressed with the performance um, with the engines and everything else so you can see the flying here and um, the performance of the quad is totally changed this thing is ripping through the air it's uh, it's got fantastic um, prop wash and um, you can see right here straight away grips the air straight away no problems whatsoever reacts very very fast and it's got plenty of power as well so overall I'm impressed and happy with the, and the performance of the quad itself so it's fantastic and um, thanks for watching guys enjoy flying Hit the motors, how they go, and um, hopefully um, we do some more. Let me know if this is cool and uh, exciting for you. All right, all the best. Subscribe if you can, and uh, give me a thumbs up, please. Uh, that'd be great. Thank you. Ciao.